How's it going everybody? This is Papsy once again and today I'm bringing you some headquarters on fire range. Um, joined the game by myself but but don't worry I got this. I got this. Um, this is um, back to the basics um, headquarters edition. Now if you're unfamiliar with the series that I've um, done on my channel it's called back to the basics and um, what it's about is basically I take ideas, techniques, and tips that I have picked up over the years and that I've also um, learned from other people and the people have um, told me about you know things that I have adapted to my gameplay style that tend to um, help me and have helped me basically become such a good player the reason um, I do this series is um, not not really for the people that are familiar with the game that are um, I would say um, kind of uh, skilled already um, and it could be for them as well. But this series is mainly about, um, you know, getting back. It's basically what the title says: getting back to the basics, remembering the small things that will help you inevitably in the long run, uh, becoming a better player, continuing to be a, a better player, and also staying consistent. Because that's what we all need in our gameplay: is uh, staying consistent. I'm sure you guys have had good days and bad days, and you just know if we you can stay consistent, it usually turns out to be a better night. But um, what I want to talk about um, previous to this while I was up top, um, the reason I'm not going for kills and you don't see me um, poking my head out to the, the left there and shooting at the guys that were in the car shop or coming around the jeep is um, the objective is headquarters. And in an objective based game, if you play for the objective, the kills are going to come to you. Um, the reason I say this is because the objective is the most important thing because that what is what produces you the win. And um, if you're going for the objective, you're defending the objective, the kills are going to come to you. And a perfect example and one of the reasons why I chose this game was um, right here. Um, I don't, I have no idea how to say his name and I have no idea who he is. But he's doing an amazing job of playing for the objective. Um, when the objective starts to blink, he's sure to run in and kill the guys. And if you notice, he's not camping and he's not defending the headquarters inside the headquarters. That That's the biggest thing. And I think um, the most common mistake that I see with people that are trying to play um, headquarters and trying to defend it, um, you don't really need to stay exactly inside. And here I get killed by a claymore. But you don't need to uh, stay inside the headquarters to be effective and to defend it. And um, one of the keys that I, I have picked up that has helped me is you know um, right here you know pick your shots if you know you're not gonna win the gun fight run away um, get yourself to cover if you can um, un inevitably for me you know there was two guys I didn't see the guy that was behind the, the fence there but so let's get more to the um, tactical techniques that I've picked up um, I want to talk about um, I already kind of stepped on one, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and start reiterating on that. Um, what I like to call it is uh, player positioning. Um, and what I mean by that is your teammates, or if you're playing by yourself, you need to position yourself. And, for example, this is going to be all about headquarters, so this is what I'm going to talk about. Of course, these tactics and techniques aren't going to work for every game style. But, basically, you want to... Um, kind of place yourself in a position where you can see the enemy running to the headquarters. Now, things that will help you also protect the headquarters. Um, you always see me when I'm playing headquarters. I, I love C4, and the reason I love C4 is you get two of them. And that's kind of like having two extra people on your team. Um, of course, they can't shoot anyone, but the, the overall goal for me is to have the C4 on the headquarters or around the headquarters so that if it is blinking, I either kill them or do damage to them and that's that's what I'm comfortable with I don't really care about getting a kill necessarily I just want to make sure that I have something there that I help me get there because you know sometimes you kinda you're kinda far away from the headquarters and you just don't have time to get enough bullets on to kill them and save it in time so the C4 definitely helps you in that aspect one of the other things I, I love to use for headquarters and I'm just gonna pause right here and make a good step um, the reason I knife the guy, and this is like my own oath, I never use knives in Call of Duty because they are just horrible in my opinion. Um, they tend to never really work 100%. So, um, but if you have the opportunity to, to knife a guy and not use your gun, if you if you have a silencer, it's fine. 
in some senses but if you have the opportunity to knife a guy knife a guy because using your gun even if it has a silencer anyone that's using a headset can definitely pick up on the sound across the map even if you have a silencer so just a heads up but anyway um the two things that i use in headquarters besides c4 are um, either smoke grenades or i use um the tactical gas uh, i forget exactly what it's called but the gas uh, the nova gas there you go um, the reason I use an overcast is because against a really good team, um, it's gonna hard. It's gonna be hard if you don't have a team yourself. Like for instance, when I'm playing by myself, um, you, you won't always have a team that's gonna help you create that perfect position and set yourself up to capture the headquarters when it comes online. So you're gonna need help. And what I found is t uh, the overcast is really helpful and creating uh, a kind of a roadblock in the road between one position and another and in most cases you usually have you know two or three pathways to the headquarters so if, if you're able to cut one of those uh, pathways off with the nova gas that gives you one less pathway you have to worry about and you you can only focus on you know say two doorways um, and one of the things I want to touch on because it kinda happened um, not too long ago is um, when I switch guns you'll see me pick up guns a lot um, I love having the option of uh, having an assault rifle and an SMG especially on a map like this because there are going to be those instances where you're going to need an assault rifle and a longer gun battle situation um, so it's definitely helpful for example right here um, knowing that it's a little bit further of a distance between me and the enemy running down that pathway I went ahead and switched to the Galil um, unfortunately I wasn't able to get both guys but I just think that's a tip that you guys can definitely pick up on um, especially if you're um, good at staying alive and you're good at building your kill streaks it's definitely help helpful to have a new gun with more ammo okay so I'm, I'm gonna speed up here I'm gonna talk about um, grenade time and grenade angles um, this works with the Nova gas as well as your sim not really your simtex but your um, uh, regular grenades uh, what I mean by angles is you know do your math um, if you throw the grenade at a 30 degree angle it's gonna bounce off the wall and go in a 30 degree angle so you don't necessarily have to expose yourself in the doorway in order to throw the grenade in go ahead and bounce it off the wall if you don't kill the guy at least you do damage to him so you only have to hit him with one or two bullets to finish him off that definitely helps you um, staying alive and also not exposing yourself to the enemy in a sense that will get you killed without being able to protect the headquarters also um, the game time headquarters is a really uh, mathematical game type um, if you really do sit down and think about it you have 45 seconds for the headquarters to come online and you get 65 points out of it so once there's no real point in rushing in and um, how, how do I put this let's see there's no real reason to um, at the end of the game and for example like this um, there's no way for the other team to really catch up I mean they could it would be really hard for them but in instances where the team you know it's 235 to 0 or you know it's 235 to 10 or 20 and the game's about to be over be sure to go ahead and take your time with your kills play more defensively go ahead and build your, build your kill streaks up if you want get your KD a little bit up but there's no sense in running around um, trying to go for the headquarters if there's only for example I can't really use it on this game but say there's two minutes left and you guys up or are up by 50 well you know it takes 45 seconds for the headquarters to come online and at least 10 or 15 seconds if the guys are exactly on the headquarters right on time so you know just be sure to do the math and figure it out for yourself but I hope these little tips and tricks helped you guys out, hope it improves your gameplay, but my name's Papsy, and until next time, I'm out of here.